The Truth About Evolution and Religion by David Romer, Ph.D. This slideshow will explain evolutionary biology so you can better understand the controversy in the United States about the teaching of evolution. Theology is the study of revelation, and fundamental theology is the study of reasons to believe in revelation. Free will is under fundamental theology because it is not an observation. We know we have free will because we can make ourselves the subject of our own knowledge. We can comprehend free will, but we can't define it. Another way of saying humans are embodied spirits is that humans are indefinables that become conscious of their own existence. Metaphysics is a method of inquiry based on logic and reason. The soul is the metaphysical principle that makes humans equal to each other and superior to animals. The body is the metaphysical principle that makes humans different from each other. The above is a quote from the famous evolutionary biologist Stephen Jay Gould. Professor Gould is saying that as far as science is concerned, evolution applies to the bodies of human beings, not their souls. The universe began 13.7 billion years ago as an infinitely small point of infinite density and temperature. Within a small fraction of a second, the universe was the size of a melon. This phenomena is called the Big Bang. The above quote is from the famous physicist Stephen Hawking. It shows that there is no scientific explanation for the Big Bang. The proof of God starts with the proposition that human beings have free will. Free will means each of us possesses a center of action that makes us unified with respect to ourselves, but different from other beings. Hence, we are finite beings. God is a being which is totally other, not finite or infinite. An infinite being exists because finite beings need a cause. If all beings in the universe needed a cause, the universe would not be intelligible. The idea that God caused the Big Bang is not good science because it is not testable. It's not good metaphysics either, because we always knew an infinite being created the universe of finite beings. The Big Bang, however, is a reason to believe in the Bible because it says that God created the universe from nothing. In John, the Word refers to the concept of the universe in God's mind. In the first second, elementary particles were formed. In the next 100 seconds, nuclei were formed. Galaxies began to form within a million years. After billions of years, stars formed. Inside stars, nuclear reactions produce the elements of the periodic table. The sun and planets in our solar system formed about 5 billion years ago from gas clouds containing the debris of previous supernovas. When the Earth first condensed, it was extremely hot and had no atmosphere. After cooling, rocks formed and produced an atmosphere of sorts. Living organisms one millionth of a meter in size appeared on Earth 3.8 billion years ago. These organisms, called prokaryotes or bacteria, possessed a cell wall and carried out the functions of living organisms, ingestion, respiration, and synthesis. This is a quote from The Plausibility of Life, Resolving Darwin's Dilemma by a professor of biology at Harvard Medical School, Mark Kirshner, and a professor of biology at the University of California, Berkeley, John Gerhardt. Their book won an award in 2005 given by the Association of American Publishers. The quote says that there is no scientific explanation for the origin of life. Two and one-half billion years ago, atmospheric oxygen accumulated on the Earth from photosynthetic bacteria. One and a half billion years ago, unicellular eukaryotes evolved from bacteria. Eukaryotes are larger than prokaryotes and much more complex. 700 million years ago, multicellular organisms evolved from unicellular life. Multicellular organisms are more complex than unicellular organisms. They don't reproduce by cell division, but by a more complex process. Dinosaurs evolved 200 million years ago, and warm-blooded animals with hair 30 million years later. Chimpanzees appeared 8 million years ago. 6 million years ago, upright walking apes, hominids, evolved. Lucy is the woman whose skeleton is 3.2 million years old. 2 million years ago, Homo erectus evolved. 
This species made crude stone tools, discovered fire, and migrated to different continents. Neanderthals are the most well-known hominids. Present-day human beings evolved in Africa 150,000 years ago and spread to Europe, Asia, North America, and South America. The earlier hominids became extinct. Two million different species of organisms have been identified by biologists. The least complex organisms are bacteria and the most complex are Homo sapiens. Bacteria evolved into Homo sapiens over a period of 3.5 billion years. All the different species have evolved to adapt to its environment. In the early 19th century, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck said giraffes have long necks because of stretching to get leaves high on trees. This explanation is from Biology by Campbell and Rees. Facilitated variation is an improvement over Darwinian evolution. The above quote indicates Kirchner and Gerhardt are not saying facilitated variation explains the increase in complexity of organisms as they evolve from bacteria to mammals. They claim only that facilitated variation gives an improved explanation for adaption. In the above quote, Professor Bertolanfi is saying that the Darwinian mechanism does not explain the increase in complexity of life. In the free expansion of a gas, a gas will fill up the entire container. There is less order in the expanded volume because there is less knowledge about the location of the molecules of gas. In biological systems, there is a high degree of order because the location of each amino acid in a protein is perfectly known. The second law of thermodynamics is that nature tends towards a state of great disorder. This is an excerpt from a paper published in Nature. The paper calculates the odds of producing a protein made up of 300 amino acids from random choice. Campbell's and Reese's textbook is used by 65% of biology majors in the United States. A measure of the complexity of life is the small probability of getting a single protein by random chance. This calculation by Kirshner and Gerhardt makes clear the problem of explaining the complexity of life by random mutations. Kirshner and Gerhardt modify their statement that a computer would need millions of years to produce an epigram by random chance. To account for the pre-existence of biological units, they say that a computer should generate only dictionary words and not individual letters. To account for natural selection, the computer should stop when it gets part of the epigram correct, save that part, and continue with the random generation of dictionary words. With these provisions, a computer can generate an epigram in a short length of time. This is a quote from Michael Behe, a professor of biochemistry at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania. This is another reason why Darwinism doesn't explain common descent. Falciparum is the eukaryote that causes malaria. Sickle cell anemia is an adaption that protects humans from malaria, but it brings about the destruction of biological machinery, not its buildup. The foundation of a protein is a chain of hundreds of amino acids. The structure of a protein is very complex. Biologists can recognize four superimposed levels of structure, primary in the upper left, secondary in the upper right, tertiary two views, and quaternary lower right. There is another level of complexity in organisms arising from molecular machinery that requires many different proteins to function. The tail or flagellum of bacterium, for example, rotates very rapidly and is made up of 30 different proteins. Another level of complexity involves the timing of biological functions and processes. An adult chimpanzee, for example, has a much smaller brain than an adult human being. But it is not enough to know this to understand the evolution of a human being. Humans also have small pelvises so that they can walk upright. This means that human babies must have small brains to get through the birth canal. Thus, the evolution of the human brain includes the evolution of the development of the human brain from the embryo stage to the adult stage. There is no scientific explanation for the human soul, common descent, the origin of life, and the Big Bang.